Hello po. Uh, let's open our Bible to Psalm 18. Psalm 18. Tayo po tayo, basahin po natin ng sabay-sabay. Psalm 18, verse 1. Ready? Begin. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about, the snares of death prevented me. In my distress I call upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into tears. Dito na lang po. So, verse 6. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for your word. Lord, bless us uh, this afternoon as we study your word. Lord, and may you give all of us your wisdom and not our wisdom, Lord. Clean our hearts and mind, Lord, so that we will be able to receive your word. Panginoon at nawa ay mungusa po kayo sa bawat sa amin. Patawad po sa mga kasalanan, Panginoon, sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. So this psalm was written by David at a young age and some say that this was written when or after Saul died and David this psalm was written by David as he looked back to sa kanyang history sa kanyang buhay so uh, nung pinag-aaral ako po ito uh, sabi dun, this psalm is identical to 2 Samuel chapter 22 and some say that in 2 Samuel chapter 22, this psalm was just inserted to support the chronological order of the events in Samuel. And some say that this psalm was sung by David in two different occasions. And parehong occasion is David looking back at how God worked in his life. So, yun po. And kung sa mga Bible, Bible po natin, kasi wala dito. We can see dun sa opening words, To the chief musician, a psalm of David, the servant of the Lord who spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. So we will notice here that David did not count Saul as one of his enemies. Diba po? Sabi? That the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. Despite his experiences, Despite Saul's attempts to end David's life in many occasions, syempre, ginawa yun ni Saul out of jealousy. So, this morning we studied that jealousy will make men do things that they did not think that they are able. And maraming relasyon ang natatapos dahil sa jealousy. And we, we must be victors uh, over jealousy para yung ating mga... Yan. <clears throat> Tapos uh, dun po sa huling devotion uh, we talked about in Psalm 103 verses 1 to 12 these are David's uh, what do you call this praise to the Lord because as we studied last time God never fails to give us reasons to praise His name so Psalm 103 verses 1 to 12 Sabi po, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. This was David urging himself to praise the Lord. And how did he do that? In verse 2, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. He reminded himself of all the benefits that God gave him throughout his life. Ano po yung mga benefits? Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. 
He made known His ways unto Moses, His acts. So, ito pong mga verses na to until verse 12 and so on, makikita natin that David, uh, when he glorified the name of the Lord, he reminded himself of all the great things that God has done throughout his entire life. And this psalm right here po sa Psalm 18 is not, nothing uh, different sa psalm na ito. And if we're gonna study the book of Psalms, makikita natin ang kung gaano ka-expressive si David sa kanyang thankfulness sa Panginoon. So, dun po sa opening words, balik po tayo. David uh, introduced himself as the servant of the Lord. Sa, nung sinulat niya po ito, he is already king, but nowhere in this opening words, yung a son of David, the servant of the Lord, he did not indicate his royalty. This is David uh, showing that he counted it higher to be the servant of the Most High God than to be a king in this earth. So, makikita po natin that what made it possible for David to praise the Lord, what made it possible for him to fully give glory to God is his humility. Kasi kung sa makamundong is kaisipan po, if you're gonna compare David sa atin, napakababa po natin. Langit siya, lupa tayo. Parang sa makamundong kaisipan. But, he was able to uh, express his humility. And yun po, uh, sometimes tayo, we put ourselves high up there in the, at the expense of our fellowship with God. ba? Ang sabi sa James 4, 6. Yun. But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Diba? So, sometimes sa mga proud moments natin, na, na pag-aralan po natin kanina, Nehemiah had all the reasons to glory dahil nga yung mga past victories niya sa adversary, but he did not fail to give it all back to the one who really delivered him out of the hands of the enemies. Diba po? And David is not different talagang napaka-specific niya sa mga sa pag-express niya ng gratitude to the Lord. And sabi po dito, so verse 1, Psalm 18, 1, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. This line isn't included in 2 Samuel chapter 22. And this is a very good uh, addition dito sa Psalm na to because we all know that kung bakit natin minhal ang Panginoon is because He first loved us why we're able to love him is that he first gave or expressed his love toward us. And sabi sa 1 John 4.16 And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear. Because fear hath torment, and that fear hath is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. So, makita natin that, uh, yun nga, yung sinabi ni Paul sa Corinthians that kahit anong gawin natin, although we prophesy or anything that we do, kung wala tayong charity, we are nothing. ba? So, babalik at babalik tayo sa kung gaano natin kamahal ang Panginoon at ang mga tao ng Panginoon. And moving on, Psalm 18, verse 2. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Three, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from mine enemies. So sabi po dun sa isang nabasa kong uh, commentary, these titles given by David to God aren't titles that we will study when we study systematic theology. But these are titles that David gave to God out of personal experience. So makikita po natin, looking back or pag-aaralan natin ang buhay ni David, we will see how God delivered him from Goliath, Saul, Absalom, from backsliding, he backslided, di ba po? And even from himself, di ba? Yung kanyang lust, even sa kanyang sarili, God delivered him. And uh, reading this psalm will give us or take us back to 
Uh, sa buhay natin, we can apply this. If we look back at our life, we will we can cite a lot of instances that God delivered us from. Diba? And the thing is, the beauty of this uh, psalm by David is that we can always look back also and give it all to God. Diba? Minsan, may moments sa buhay natin that we will realize, ah, nakaka-bless pala to. But at that moment, hindi natin ma-appreciate. Pero pag bin-ring up sa memory natin, that's the moment na mababalik natin yung glory sa Panginoon. Ayan. Verses 4 to 6, The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about, the snares of death prevented me. So yung verse 4 po, the sorrows of death compassed me and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. So, pwede natin tong siguro na-experience natin to before that uh, natakot tayo sa tao. But this one, uh, sa buhay natin siguro may mga moment na ang kinatakutan natin ay hindi ungodly men but godly men. Di ba? Uh, we try to look for the perfect church instead of being the perfect Christian for his church. Uh, perfect in a way na hindi na tayo not in a way na maka, hindi na tayo magkakasala but perfect in a way na no matter how God deals with us or what He deals us with uh, able tayo na or willing tayo na lunukin and live it out para din sa kanyang ministry so yun po and verse 5 the sorrows of hell compassed me about the snares of death prevented me so sa buhay natin of course David has gone through many wars and battles in his life at talagang kung ano, nakipag eye to eye na siya kay kamatayan. And sa panahon natin, maybe we have, syempre wala naman na tayong physical wars or battles, but kung i-apply natin, we have our own emotional, spiritual battles, di ba? Madidepress tayo, madidisappoint, madidiscourage, pero uh, these things will come. No matter what we do, hindi tayo excuse dito. Great men in the Bible na experience nila to, Elijah, Jonah, and others, na experience nila to. And the thing is that sa verse 6, makikita natin kung paano, kung ano yung ginawa ni David to prevent this things. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. So, Yung nga, one thing that we can learn from Nehemiah is that uh, no matter what situation he was in or how circumstances have changed, ang default ni Nehemiah is to run to God. Diba? Because there is no greater comfort than to know na lagi tayo, kahit wala tayong tao sa paligid natin, uh, we have God na matatakbuhan natin in times of distress. Diba? And we will be sure na makikinig siya sa atin if, of course, we are willing to open up. Sabi sa 1 John 5.14 And this is the confidence that we have in Him that if we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. Verse 15 And we know that He hear us whatsoever we ask. We know that we have the petitions that we desired of Him. So, pakikinggan tayo ng Panginoon, sasagutin niya yung panalangan natin if this is according to His will. And most of the time, we pray and we dictate God kung ano yung will natin sa sarili natin. It's just like us not asking uh, permission or approval from Him, but it's just us letting Him know what we want with our lives. And uh, yun nga, paulit-ulit nating naririnig na walang Magan, there's no greater plan than the plan of God in our lives. No matter how like hard it is to swallow at times because hindi natin alam yung ano, purpose. But He knows the purpose and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. And these things, uh, itong Psalm 18, David looking back at his life. Kaya nga tinawag to ni Spurgeon na the great retrospect kasi binalikan niya yung buhay niya. And looking back, wala siyang ibang ginawa. Well, yung first uh, thing that he did was give all the glory to God. And this, in 2 Samuel chapter 22, ito yung malapit na siyang mamatay. Siguro ilang, 
tatlo, apat na chapters sa First Kings, kaya tayo matay. So yun. Uh, and the last thing that he did was give thanks to God. Siyempre, di ba pag mamatay, hindi, hindi ko pa naranasan, pero pag namamatay, talagang you will look back sa buhay mo. And of course, yung old people, siguro, ganun sila, looking back. And the, ang magandang bagay is that we can always, what do you call this? Uh, Siyempre, napapakinggan natin ng Word of God araw-araw. And if we read the Bible sa kanya-kanya nating bahay, na alam natin na lahat ng ginagawa natin eh, hindi walang kabuluhan sa Panginoon. Yun nga, yung kay Nehemiah, he had all the reasons para, yun nga, feeling accomplished na. Kasi konti na lang matatapos na yung world. Pero he did not stop knowing na kung ano yung ginagawa niya is the greatest thing because it is according to the will of God. And yun. Uh, sabi, the more we pray to the Lord, yun nga, the more we pray to the Lord and the more He answers our prayer and the more we give thanks to Him, sa susunod na prayer po natin, we can be bold to ask Him anything. ba? Diba? It's like, uh, alam ba, sa Scrabble, ano Scrabble? Uh, f- uh, pag, alam mo, malayo na yung score mo, tapos syempre gusto mo mag-enjoy yung kalaban, mag-open ka. Eh, nakatira ng mataas, tapos yayabangan ka pa. Eh, parang ganun, parang, syempre, in, sa susunod, di mo na yun bubuksan ulit. ba? Diba? Parang ganun, credits, credits din, kapatid. So, parang ganun. So, the more God, an- God answers our prayer, tapos hindi naman din tayo nag-express ng gratitude, bakit pa sasagutin ng Panginoon yung susunod natin panalangin? ba? Diba? And yun lamang po. And as ending sa so 1 Corinthians 10.31, Whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. And we should not wait for the, kumbaga, sa malalaking bagay, the grandest thing to happen before we give all the glory to God. Even sa malilit na bagay, sa payapang tulog, sa maayos na gising, at sa mga magagandang mukha ng tao sa paligid natin. We must give glory to God. Ilang po at maraming sa. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for your word. Lord, may this uh, be a challenge to everyone. Lord, and.